Hey everyone, today I have Adam here and we are going to be doing the Couples Career Challenge Tag video. <laughs> and Pat, so patent pending. Right. So for those of you who don't know what that is, because Which would we, probably be everybody. Because I just made it up. <laughs> um, so what it is, is I like name like, I either write like 10 questions or terms that have to do with my career and Adam does the same for his career and I have to guess what they, not guess, but I have to try and explain what they mean or answer the question. So, so let's get started. Do we do, like do points just like last time? Yeah, because we're good at that. Oh, we need the board in here so we can tally it up. We don't have it here. We have that board. Is no. that picture with ET? No, no. no, we can't do that. Good. I'll keep score here. So as most of you know, I am obviously a hairdresser and my job contains doing haircuts, um, color, balayage, I do blowouts, and I do updo. So that's just kind of like basically what I do. So it'll be terms that have to do with something in that kind of regard. And Adam? I work in advertising and film post-production. Do, do I start or? Yeah, you can start. So okay. give me one of your first questions. Wow, you know them off the top of your head? By popular demand, what does B-roll mean? What is it? Well, I recently learned, and apparently you said that you've always said this. I've never. used it every time we've shot videos. And I guess it was one of those words that like just comes off as a blank to me, because I didn't know what they meant at all. And But now I know that B-roll is, say, when you're making a video and right now I'm talking blah 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 but then say like we cut to like another footage of me actually doing what I'm talking about but there's no talking involved so it's just me like doo -doo -doo -doo, like no but no sound effects or just kind of music playing in the background that's b-roll it's true it's the non-essential footage like but it's the, so essential it is oh. it's what makes it nice but it's not essential to the story necessarily but yeah, oh, it's just like extra it's, it's the extra yeah okay okay yes. so yay I got one point sure you don't have to write down Sylvia got one point on the first question regarding B-roll in, in the couple's cover, couple, couple's career couple, couple. Couple, in the couple's career YouTube tag video challenge versus Adam. Couple's career challenge YouTube tag video. Okay, so my first question is what does it mean when color iodizes? That means that, oh I know this. That Oxidizes, not yeah, iodizes. Yeah, that means that it's been left open and all the um, Oxygen has it. Oxygen has got to it, and it affects the wow. chemical. It affects the chemicals and makes it react in a different way. If you use it, and it it spoils it basically. Yeah, it gets to a point that if there's so much oxygen, it just doesn't work anymore. It's like smearing on butter. Wow. That's in amazing. high school, chemistry failed me. Tonight, <laughs> chemistry can suck it. <laughs> Did you really learn oxidize? I didn't know that from chemistry. I, I don't know. I that from hair. No, chemistry teaches. I don't, I don't remember that from chemistry. Mm. Maybe. Okay. We're starting easy and then we'll get gradually harder. Oh. What does POV stand for? Point of view? Well, yeah, and what is it? Like the camera? In, in really point of view? You need to be in the middle okay. of the point of view? Pop? Pop. Huh? Okay. Is it? Yeah. Camera point of view. Yeah. Is it camera point of view? Yeah, yeah. Are you having fun? It's so much fun. I'm drinking Perrier. That's a grapefruit. It's the best one. It literally mm. smells like garden and Perrier. Oh, it is good. You finished it. It's our infomercial for Perrier. Perrier. It's really good. I would say Perrier many times on camera if they send us many, many free Perriers. But they don't. Again, we're not being paid to say Perrier, but we're not. Perrier. I hope they send us. Can you send us some Perrier? Okay, so on to the next question. What is the difference between scissors and shears? Scissors you use to cut paper and origami, and shears is what you use to cut hair. No, you can use scissors to cut hair. If you're They're both hair cutting apparatuses, but what is the difference in hair country? Nothing. It's like. It's like the thing with, with names of colors. You, your teacher never told you that when there's two words, they mean always two different things? And that if they only sound the same, like car and automobile, is still a little bit different? It's different than uh, No, we learned that. One is British, the other is American. No, it's not even true. <laughs> there, it's, it's like one is like car, like the actual box. Automobile means like the entire thing, like it has a soul. Is that what it is? 
don't know, we learned that at school. Never heard that. All right, well, anyway. maybe. Anyways, so. So you don't know? Do you no want me to give you the answer? Yes. Really? Yeah, how would I know? Okay, so shears is more than five inches. Scissors oh yeah, three. I knew. Yeah, I knew that. Mm -hmm. So when a guy's carrying a shear. <laughs> oh, is that? Oh, is that the sad, sad, sad cosmetology school com comedy that no, that's going on? Sad, that, that guy's sad. carrying a shear. Oh no, I bet he's on. I scissors. hope every guy is carrying more than a shear. Uh, Otherwise, it's a sad world for some <laughs> girls. Okay. Is that? Really, I bet that joke has. No, been... I've seriously made it up right now. Never heard it. Uh, what is post production exactly? Post production. That would be someone else films, or you, it could be you film it too. But then you take in that footage and you do what you want with it. You change it, you edit, you color. All the production that happens after post. <laughs> after post. <laughs> That's true. Post production is anything that happens post recording. Yeah, it's true. But you said it doesn't have to be other people who shoots it or anything. And I like said that. either someone else shoots it and you do post production right. or you could be doing all of so it. So give me some examples of what this would be. So this would be like you shooting this video and then post production you consult Sylvia what color do you want to edit this video in? And that would be us working together on post production. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that a good example? A good I used example. it in a sentence yeah. and everything. Yeah. That's when you really understand it. The retarded spelling bee. I know, <laughs> fuck you. They're gonna get a lot harder, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. Question for you? Yeah. What is a quats? A quats? A is quats. it like squats in a pot? <laughs> in the table tots? It's spelled Q-U-A-T-Z, but it's short for quats? something. It's How short for quaternary in, something. Can you use it in a sentence? I just put my shears in the quads. I just put my comb in the quads. <laughs> so when the guy puts his shear in her quads, then that means what? <laughs> you can put your brush in the quads. Oh, so it's some, some kind of holster. It, it, maybe it's a belt. Maybe it's like a fanny pack for hairdressers. No. It's wet. <laughs> oh, I got it. So it's that thing you use to clean the... It is! The liquid. The that, blue stuff. The blue stuff. That's called quats. quats. Because it's quaternary something. Hmm. Quats. Quats. Alright, so you got it. Wow, you got it. Impressed. With much help, but you got it. Okay, two to three. Alright, here's one that you'll never get. If you get it, that's impressive. I have said it before, actually, many times. But you say a lot of things that you don't explain and I don't care to ask, so then, then we go on right. ten years without me still knowing. Mm -hmm. What is, it's a term, what does the term a hairy armpit mean in my field of, any kind of, I think it's used I've in many I've never fields. heard that. Absolutely used it before. Like something unnecessary? Well, like it's just their extra? Well, not quite, but it's the, down the right path actually, that's pretty good. It's either a person that's in the room that doesn't need to be like an extra kind of giving opinions, or it's extra footage that you kind of don't need. No, but it's okay. <laughs> so a hairy armpit is... Wait, what if I keep trying? Okay, right, go again. <laughs> <laughs> what else can there be a hairy armpit in? Is it like a guy that's really macho? Yeah, that's, that's no. what it is. Something that's getting in the way of, or like you're trying to shoot something and then it's raining. So that's the hairy armpit of the situation? No. Okay, then I give up. All right. So do. say that you have a client that you're doing a project for who, no matter what you show them, even if it's perfect, they will always find something that's wrong with it. It's like, mm, that's pretty good, but we still have some time going here, so I'm just gonna... Oh, I thought this was aimed at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it could be. No, so but... they, they, they will always find something, some, something to nitpick on, like, regardless of what you show them, always be something. So what but you do... But if there's no time, it's perfect. Yeah, and or what you do, just Stall. to just to know yeah, what you do then instead what a hairy armpit is that you add something extra to the shot like a big red dildo in the right hand corner that you know for for a fact that the client is going to focus on so that you force the client to say well that's not supposed to be there that big red dildo in the corner of the of the of the frame and you go god you're probably right that is that's a good <laughs> it's a good observation you are smart and better than everybody else and then you remove it and then you come back and they go Okay, see, see, I had a part I, of this I, now, I, and you make them feel included and like, ah, I really made that decision. You made the fuck out of that decision. 
<laughs> this is awful. I know, but it's also incredibly effective. <laughs> do you guys do that like all the time? No, we don't do that. Do people? It's do a that... term. Nobody does it. You guys do it all the time. No, no. But what if? What if you put the red tulip on? And, and it's, it's exactly, it's a game plan. And then they go, that is a good looking red dildo in the corner. I'm so happy you put that in there. We're keeping it. Yeah, and then you have a problem. But, okay. But that's fine. It's fine. Whatever they want. Exactly. Right? Yeah, so it's oh, fine. You're just what, badly so, more represented. Exactly. So you. A very good one. See, learning. Mm -hmm. Youth. I mean, growth. I mean, <laughs> growth. <laughs> Knowledge. You have a growth? Knowledge. Knowledge. What was it? Knocking. Knocking? Knocking. I'm knocking. <laughs> Alright, your turn. When is a slice, a weave, or a micro stitch used? used a weave is for curls. A finger weave. Like, a finger wave. Uh, potato, <laughs> tomato. Potato, Chicago. Tomato, <laughs> Chicago. There you go. Anyways, a weave is. No, that's a wave, like the finger wave. Oh. That's good. Okay. This is you use one or the other. Or right, the other. Say it again. Okay, give me the list a again. Slice, a weave, or a micro stitch. So I was gonna say it was. It would have been when you to do with like bleaching or coloring with. It is. With like the foil or something. <gasps> Am I really right? Yeah, oh, you're like it. on fire, almost burning. Okay. Right. So what does it mean exactly? But the micro stitch doesn't make any sense. Maybe that. Well, I, I guess it's how you section the hair or something or. In in foil, how you that foil the exactly. hair? Exactly. <laughs> but is it like superstar? Is it what goes into the foil, or just how you rearrange the hair for the foil? It's how you rearrange the hair for the foil. It's how, what goes into obviously what goes into the foil. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, like when you grab like a piece of hair, if you grab this whole entire piece and that goes in a foil, that's a slice. And then if you get random regular, that's a weave. And then a micro stitch is like teeny, 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 like. Uh, like spaghetti thin it's micro stitch. Right. So those are the three main stitchings mm. you, that go inside a foil. You're so interested now. <laughs> Winning at it. You got close. That was like half. A point. No, that was a point. Okay, that yeah, that could have been. That could have been like that's how, uh, that's how you grow a cornfield on the moon. And that would have been just as likely an answer. Okay, going to archive of qu secret questions. Oh, just secret okay. questions. Okay, so here's a, another old classic too that you need to not just say what it is, but explain it. There's two. Okay. On a camera. Don't test me. I've been trying to teach you this. The ISO. It's not the ISO. That's the only one I'm leaving out because if you don't know what the ISO is, then we have a bigger problem. You want the other one, the F-stop? Ah, I want the shutter speed and the F-stop. I want to ex not explain what they do. Well, actually, yeah, well, what they do, but really, what, what they, they what are they? Shutter, the shutter speed, speed or the, how, what's how, the other how? word? For, what's the other word for Aperture. the? Aperture. Holy shit! And that's the other word for. How long the thing is? No, no. For oh, the, for f stop. There you go. Okay. I know. Now explain what is the aperture slash f stop. That's how long the little like stays open. How much light it brings in. It no. lets in. It's, well, you have right. It's not how long it stays open. It's how, how open it is. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Which one is the one how long? Well, you got to keep going here. You're not right. So f-stop f -stop slash aperture is what? How long it stays open. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the same one. Okay. The same one we're just talking yeah. about. That now is... Now say it in a sentence. The... Aperture or f-stop is... How much it opens. Ah, I have taught you well, Tattoo. <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> and I saw and, is... And, and, what does that, what impact does that have when you take pictures? It makes it grainier, but it makes it brighter. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're half right again. Does not make it grainier. Oh, it just makes it brighter because it takes longer. No, it, it doesn't. It's more? Take... The picture takes longer, it goes... No, that no, that's not that. It's not how long it stays open. I keep covering oh, okay. that. The f stop slash. The f stop slash aperture is how much it opens. Good. And what does this? How does this affect the picture that you're trying to take? The more it opens, the brighter. Yes. The and what other effect would this have? You stop talking. If you're gonna say something, you're gonna regret. 
<laughs> and then we got to start all over again. Wait, if it doesn't open much? No, 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 no. Low f yeah, no, but it, of course we we established now that it affects the brightness. It, it affects affects how much light the lens takes in. How much light the lens brings in? Yes, that's one. What's the other thing? Not color. No. Like how clear something is. Well, kind of, yeah. But more specifically. Not the megapixels, because nobody gives a shit about megapixels. Not the megapixels? The depth of field. Oh, like of the, mm. the thingamajiggy. And the lower your f-stop, say f-stop 2 or 250 versus 10 or 12, what would it, what, how would that affect the picture in, in terms of uh, level of focus, area of focus? Oh, that's right. So the more it opens... Which is represented how? With a high or a low f-stop? A high f-stop. No. Okay. F15. Okay? The okay. lens is very little open. It takes very little light in. Okay. What F is a lot open? What is F2. the number? F2. Depending on how good the lens is. They go from anywhere to, from 1.2 to min on minimum to like... Four on minimum. Mm. So a very low f stop like 1.2 or 1.8 means that the lens is all the way open and it takes in a shitload of light. However, way. causing the your your plane of fo your focal plane to be very very narrow. If I take a picture of, of you here, with so an, my nose can be in focus and then this over here is like blurry. Exactly. It's so if, say if I'm shooting you from here with an f 1.2. Your nose tip will be in focus, but your face will be completely out of focus. If I shoot you here with an F10, it should be pretty good in focus, all of you. And maybe the background down here will be out of focus. Because there's a little bit more. Ah, uh, yes. When I mean, you can actually calculate this. So basically, I got this one right. Totally, <laughs> almost. I think, okay, we, okay, and then what is the other one? What is the shutter speed? This is part two of shutter my exciting question. Shutter speed is question. how fast and obviously it opens and closes. Yeah, okay, okay. We're on the right track. Shutter track. speed, that's quite... Well, you got, just got it wrong nine times, so... That's the other one. Yeah. Okay, and so what effect does this have? That is the quality. Not one gets anything grainy. to do with it, no. So why don't we make everything bright and awesome and great? So it seems... The ISO is the one with the oh, quality. That's true. Yeah. I told you that a thousand times. I thought we were talking about it, so no. we're talking about shutter speed. Shutter speed. So why would it matter? You can take more pictures more like back to back if it's really fast. Stop talking. <laughs> so it goes to video. But if not <laughs> Ew uh, you have like an eye booger the whole time. Uh, you think you're enjoying it, aren't you? <laughs> I do. Nice. What was the question? Shutter speed does what to pictures? Yes. What, what outcome? What is the shutter speed? What does that do? <laughs> Wait, the faster? Well, yeah. oh, if it goes fast, obviously it's dark, and if it goes slow, and there's a lot of like nice. Yeah. That's just common sense, right? Okay, yeah. See, if it's visual, I'll understand. Uh -huh, yeah. It's like that F stuff slash aperture, you nailed it. Cause that's like four things and it's like I need a graph. Alright. You got half a point. Go you. At least. Half a point. Quarter. You got one of them right, the other one you messed up royally. <laughs> the aperture. The aperture. And what is the ISO now that you're on a roll so much? ISO is brightness and dark. Bright. The brighter it is, the less quality, but the darker it is, like it's super crisp, clear to where you can enlarge it to billboard right. size. It's really brighter and darker, it's higher and lower ISO. If say you always have perfect circumstances, oh, you told me that. what do you want to shoot everything in? Between 200? 100. But 200 is fine. No cameras have grain at 200. So that's so just as fine. 200 just gives you a little teeny bit of brightness and it's still great. So. Yeah, yeah. But See, I think these were the rules I was converting to as you were speaking. I'm like, okay, so bullshit to him. 200 it is. 800 <laughs> is the most I can do. So 1200 is basically what I was you know, Shut up. <laughs> it stinks. Does it smell hella good in there, doesn't it? There it is. Does it smell hella good? Yeah, it smells like great. Frank, like rape? Ah, this period, it smells like rape. What hair process contains ammonium thioglycolate? 
Oh, the, the ammonium thioglycolate. <laughs> thioglycolate? <laughs> um. So which, ammonium appointment, ammonium? which appointment? Shh! See the hot. Well, it's ammonium, so it's color, but it is. Oh, you think it's color? What are we, in 1943? Where color still contained ammonia? Oh. Oh, your color <laughs> contains ammonia now? Yeah. Your hair will be fried and make... Okay, so bleach? Nope. So, perm. Oh, yeah, perm! Then which perm? It's the perm... It's, it's the solution. perm liquid. Perm it solution. Is. How did you do that? Because I remember when you did my perm, then you said that word. We didn't use the... Thioglycolate. See? There's ammonium thioglycolate. So I get a point for that? That was great. Good That's only me. for one type of perm. Is that an alkaline perm? No, because alkaline would be... What's the other one? <laughs> an acidic perm. It would be... Ammonium. Ammonium. It would be the alkaline one. I That's feel right. Like, yeah, yeah. And when when would you need the alkaline versus the acidic solution? If for you th are coarse hair or for uh, or for thin hair. Coarse hair would be the acidic one, and vice versa. It's the other way around. Oh, fuck. Coarse hair needs the bioglycolate to break through that fucking coarse That's hair. That's what I said. That would be the. Oh no. Okay. All right. And then the acidic I could, um, will be for the nice, thin, baby soft hair. Okay, I could have guessed that. So Asians five glycolated up. Can we take selfies? <laughs> oh my god. Can you say that to your mom? You're it's like, mom, cute. Please. Look who I met, mom. She lives under a bridge. Her name is Ogre. It's right right there. And uh, mm -mm, won that one. Uh, <laughs> Can we make sandwiches? No. Could we go to Starbucks and get a caramel frappuccino? Orange mocha frappuccino. Is that such a thing? No, they couldn't make it. I asked for it. Really? You just made that up randomly? No, it's from Zoolander. What's an alpha channel? Alpha like trumps all. It's like the alpha male. <laughs> but alpha channel? What's an alpha channel? In relation to? That's our channel, channel on YouTube. It's a, the alpha channel. No. In relation to my work. Huh. Like a better filter? No. A person to help you? No. A program? A pro- no. If I shoot you on a green screen, then I need to extract an alpha channel. Do you get that? Oh, extract the green. Right. That creates an alpha channel around you. Oh. So, so that's like a layer in Photoshop. What? Well, or whatever program. It is a mat. You know what a I mean? mat? I need a mat, like a stencil mat. That's an alpha channel. An alpha channel is a hole out mat. So you cut that out and then that little piece of me, that's the alpha channel? No, everything around is the alpha channel. Oh, sorry, no, you're right, yes. That so the little... empty space that no, is now way, not it, green. It works either way. It's a channel with that has a hole in it. Oh, it could be anything. It could be like there used to be a background, but I want to cut out that background yeah, because yeah. I no longer like it. Exactly, I then to I have to cut this. you out and replace the background. Then I cut out an alpha channel. Oh, but what if like I'm like in movement and I have like this crazy background? Then it becomes so much how more. do you do? You have to cut every move. Yeah, but then you can movement? draw like splines around the arms and legs, and so then you can animate. It. No, so you can animate it. So if your arm is here and then it goes here, then you draw a curve around your hand here, and then when your arm is up here, then you animate the curve to go like that and follow the hand. And in movies, there's always a ton of that work where they have to spend thousands of hours. That's why they're so expensive to cut out. Stuff oh, that's and, and awful. So that's not creative, that's... Oh, oh that's slave work, beyond anything. And that's when you watch, like, that's, the cast and the whole credits? Well, that's, they, that's roto, it's called rotoscoping, or articulate, articulate roto, and usually those people don't get credit on the... <gasps> really? Yeah, because it's such a factory job, so they just send it to... There's a couple of companies in LA that... They send it to China, or there's a couple of companies in LA that do it, and they usually don't get credit because it's like 200 people who just sit and do that just every day. And if you want to convert a movie from 2D to 3D, so suddenly you can see it with 3D glasses, ooh, then you can do that too. So basically, you separate the you separate all the parts of the movie. So if it's us here, my hand here, and the TV behind there, then you need one mat around my hand 
so I have the hand separately. Then oh. I need a mat around us, and then I need the rest behind. And then you gotta fill in what's behind, space. what's missing behind us, and then you can get the illusion that we're actually in 3D space because you can layer each. So is that what section. 3D is? Is that there's going to be three layers? Not, not three layers. No, 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 no. It can be two layers. It can be any of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're at four? No. Yeah, suck it. So I'm at 3.5 at least. What two, what two things do you mix to make hair bleach? Two ingredients in hair bleach. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, you mix the powder with the developer. Right. So it's developer and ammonia powder. <laughs> it's, it's developer and, and magic. We've already said all the words. Hi, thioglycolate. It's ammonium and thioglycolate. No, that's for perming. Just right now in this conversation, we've used the words. Powder and bleach. There you go. But powder is something. Powder bleach. I got a point. Yes. You didn't. I absolutely did. I guessed it completely. Powder and bleach. Sorry. Yeah, powder. You didn't say bleach powder. Oh, <laughs> this is a sore loser, aren't you? What does CGI stand for? You see it every day. Computer generated gener generated introscope index. What's the I for? Oh. Computer generated ISO. Computer graphic. Computer generated. Computer generated item. Ideas. Interests. <laughs> Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awful. What's this with an eye? Eye is like the worst. What are movies compiled compiled of? A whole bunch of characters. A movie has icons. When you take pictures, you take many. God created you in His. I in. <laughs> On the something day, God created man in His. God created man and his what? No, in his, in his, in his what? What does he, what did God have that started with an I? Image. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't took I've a I've heard God say that. Really? Isn't that one in of the things? Image? <laughs> God created man in his image. What? This is the thing. Never... <laughs> what are you? I call bullshit. I've never. We have Google I... and both, both machines. God created man in in his own image. Oh, yeah, there, there. Okay, I'm sorry. That, that's what that's what it was. In his own image. I'm sorry. In his image. In his own image. Oh, like, I'm sorry. No, you're right. Uh, how would you know that? I. <laughs> Do you feel proud now? Or how, how does that make you feel? Computer generated image. CGI. I, I'm glad you knew the the Bible. Thing too. That's good. I've never heard that. What? I bullshit. Okay. Anyways, I think that's a fat zero. You said half. Uh, you get half a point for CG. Okay. Okay. But you get minus points for the so incredible four. for your incredible abilities when it came to image. So. What is a Marcel, and why is it called Marcel? So that's two questions. So just getting one of them. No, because Marcel, you obviously know what it is. I know what it might. It's the curling iron with the. With the handle that goes out. They all have a handle that goes yeah, out. Yeah, but it's the one that doesn't have a doesn't have any resistance and a spring on it. Okay. So yeah. So that's half a point for that question. So Marcel, it's either a French word or the guy who invented it. So let's go Which with the guy who the, invented it. The ding ding ding. So it's usually oh. like that with everything that's named after a person's name. But how is Marcel like? That doesn't sound like a man's name. Uh, yeah. What is VFX an acronym for? Visual effects. Okay. Yeah, that was, one. Uh, that, that, okay, you get a point. Good job. That's a that, sympathy question. That was a hard one. That was tough. It's it's tricky because of the X, but FX is like when you're trying to be cool. Right. To 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 that to that. So why did you guys use the wrong term? I didn't come up with it. That's dumb. That's dumb. It's hella dumb. I'm fucking stupid. The brand Olivia Garden. What do they make? The Oscar goes to Olivia Garden. She, she sounds very French, right? Yeah, Olivia Garden. Oh, British. We've done videos, you've edited a video on this. So that's why you have, like, no excuse. Uh, the, the nail polish. It's 
Taylor Morgan. Lipstick. Mascara. It's the round Extension. brushes. Oh, the round brushes. Remember when they were here? I do. Was yeah, I, it's all I think about. <laughs> so you got no point for that? No. Wait, so what is it at? Yeah, I won by 40 or something Oh, like you that. actually got the 20 volume. Twink, twink. So Adam got seven and I got five. Yeah, and technically then... you got four, but you know, sympathy oh, points I are good. Oh, I only like half points. I got half points okay, on, on what you allowed. Okay, okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more shenanigans with Adam and I. Follow and me on Twitter and Facebook and at everything L Bangs. Yay. Thanks for watching. See you.